Hello and welcome back to the Critic Eculus. We are in Empire of Sin on episode 13. It's unlucky for some, but hopefully it's not going to be lucky. Unlucky for us. Let's hope it is very lucky. So we are just about to take on yet another safe house. Um, let's get off that and let's have a go. Wish me luck. Plan is after this, uh, we're going to take on the racket right next to us as well. So this little battle's been building up for a while. I'm glad we've actually managed to get to the stage where actually take him out. Um, I think we've got quite a lot of people up there. I'm thinking about making a run for over here. Capone has a a lot of movement, um, so I kind of want to use that movement. Gotcha. There we go. May get shot from up there, mind, but we will have a look. Didn't realize we actually went in a little bit hurt. Then I was just kind of like replaying that over my head. I swear I just saw Capone lose a slight bit of health before we actually had um, that attack come in there for 24 points. But I could be wrong. Um, I didn't actually check the health of anyone before, you know, uh, we actually started this fight. So, you know, I could be very wrong. Let's move baby monks in. I actually quite like this uh, this layout for a boss fight. You know, us all coming in the door. It's not too bad, mainly because of this bar here. It means we can't be shot by absolutely everyone in the room at the same time, which, again, is a little bit nice. We missed that. That's really bad. She keeps missing those shots lately. I can't seem to get her to actually connect the shots. Early game, she was only getting about 50% chance to actually get that shot. Now she's getting up there because obviously she's starting to get a few perks, but she's you know still considerably missing them, um, which isn't good because she actually has a ridiculously good marksmanship now. Looks like we are targeting the boss. It just seems to be playing out that way. It's not actually deliberately planned. It's just that's where the higher percentages are. Uh, we do have two bosses down there already. But I guess we've got four other people on this side. And to be fair, Bruno is a bloody tank. So I could use him where I can do uh, the most damage. There we go. Boss taken out, no abilities, nothing, you know, big and worrisome, which is good. We can even pop in here and make sure we get the finish. Let's have a little bit of an execution. Very nice. Very nice. I do like an execution. I also like a bloodlust. It's uh, there we go. Look at all that. Look at the panic. Not everyone's panicked, mind, but we've got a good few panicked, which is good. Panic is good for us, obviously. Um, everyone kind of tries to run for the door, which, which is a little bit silly. I think you know you're not going to run past someone with a loaded weapon just so you can get out. You, maybe, maybe shoot them and then go for the door. You know, I think that that method is a little bit o overpowered, honestly. Um, but, you know, it's what it is. That's the way the game is at the moment. And uh, taking out the boss is, you know, early in a fight is a very, very good play. Got him. 
ain't got no chance. Shit. Okay, bring a monks into the action. He doesn't mind that. Oh, the shotgun blast was uncalled for, though, dude. Yeah, only 68% chance to actually hit that. Let's have a look-see. There we go. We use this instead. See, that one with low house actually poison, I believe. So when that one takes control of itself, should die anyway. So it would have been a wasted action. Now that's a shame, isn't it? Bit of a disappointment that they choose melee in that situation. I mean, even the gangsters like that. I kind of I've been expecting it from um from the bosses of late, but still I still think it's a shame when it comes to the big gangsters doing it as well. That is some range on his sub. Look at that. Gotcha. Got half cover there, I believe. Not that we should need it. You're barely taking a scratch in this boss fight. Took out a gun, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> really, every single shot hit. What were we at? Like 72% chance of hitting. That's rough, that is. Poisoned. Very nice. Shotgun blast again for a double hit. He's about the only one actually doing damage. Shit. Ah, shit. There we go. I think shotgun blast honestly should deal. Um... Can we hit him? Oh, 50%? Probably not case. Yeah, I think the shotgun blast like that, they should deal friendly damage. I think when the, you know, Capone's, for instance, ability deals friendly damage on, in, you know, in a cone formation, I feel like that shotgun should, should really do the same. I mean, we are on the uh, boss difficulty. You know, I think... I think that makes sense. I think there's just one more guy now. He's at the other end of the bar, though. Um, you got it. Monks isn't going to be at Boris. Should be able to hit him. Yeah. And that's it. Another safe house taken out. Now, of course, we didn't actually get too much from that, unfortunately. Um, we will ransack it. We don't need it. Didn't get much from it. Uh, $260 by the looks of it. But, you know, is what it is. Happy with that. Up to 500 notoriety now. Which means that we can officially uh, assign an underboss. We are going to assign an associate um and then we are going to look at taking out salts as well i believe this is his last little uh racket in this area i think it must be in there yeah yeah i think this is his last racket anyway in this neighborhood um like i said in the last episode i want to take him out just so i can have a lieutenant set up um, and i'm gonna have that lieutenant set up actually in in that in that next neighborhood wherever salts is uh it is a brothel there we go 
There we go. We have a safe house and a racket taken care of. Let's have a quick look. Now, I was looking at assigning Bruno the role of an underboss. There we go. They're also incredibly loyal to me, which is good. Uh, and then we are going to assign Boris as the advisor. Lovely jubbly. Now, what that means is we finally have our little tree going, which is nice. Like I said, I am going to bring probably Maria up to a lieutenant. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Oh, Donovans have just declared war on us. Bloody Donovans. Let's have a quick pause. Have a look where Saltz is, if he has anything else. Honestly, I don't know. He does have a couple of other things. Okay. Just the one? He just has the one. All right. Well, then let's look at... Taking it out. Now we do need a little bit of health, folks. But we have got a couple of people, you know, uh, that needs a little bit of TLC. But we can do that whilst fighting, which is good. We'll take care of point. Remember, we're also we like we've got no armor, which is bad. You know, no armor isn't great. It means that people can get extremely lucky. Um, and that again isn't a good thing. Not for us, anyway. Uh, where are we looking? Looks like that over there. Let's see if we can. I don't think we can get a hit off. No. Move him up anyway. Get an Overwatch. Gotcha. Maria's all Kushti, but I need to remember that she has no armor at all. Now, a lot of people have very little armor. She has no armor, which, you know, it's not geared, so I've got to keep her safe. Yeah, okay. Jack's been a good, solid member, to be fair. Quite like him. Wouldn't normally run him with a shotgun, but, you know, a bit late now. And it has been going, you know, pretty geared. We'll have the sniper pointing over there. You know what? I should have healed Baby Monk. Not Baby. I should have healed Bruno. Let's keep Bruno there. Move on. Let's, like I said, let's keep Bruno there. That way he can get a heal up on the next. Also get a heal for Baby Monks. And we also got ourselves a nice little kill. Now, I think the, at least the last one, I think there's one more. He's at the top here. Maybe two. Nope, one. We're going to set up an overwatch and see if we can get him to actually run into it. Get Jack's go around the other way just in case. 
And now we've wasted enough time for the doctor to have another go. And she can heal up Bruno. Right away. There we go. I'm on it. Got him. Yeah, I, I kind of thought she might go that way. Kind of annoying. go so guys empire of sin has been released for a very long time now i guess not a very long time but you know it's approaching a couple of months old now um so how many times have you completed it since launch now honestly i don't know how many times i've completed this game i would say that i've completed it at least 10 times um, I still haven't completed it with every character. That's something that I'm working towards doing. Um, as I've completed it with Jackson probably more times than I should have. I've completed it with Reagan twice as well. Um, I have, however, got you know all the other um, achievements that you can get within the game. Uh, I really enjoyed getting Lone Wolf. I think that was my, my favorite achievement so far. You know, added an extra difficulty to the game, which was nice. But, you know, still Lone Wolf is very achievable. So anyone that hasn't got Lone Wolf yet, maybe check out my video on, you know, tips on how to actually get Lone Wolf. Like I said, it's, it isn't as hard as it sounds. Uh, definitely achievable. And it's actually a really fun playthrough to do as well. Ah, oh, really? We've got to defend... One of those little things we see. Moving. Oh, we are majorly outnumbered. I should have just abandoned this. How about we just step out into the breach and Asshole. get shot up? Will that work? I mean, yeah, it's pretty bad. Look, we all just step out right into the road. Um, I, as far as I know, there is no way to abandon this once you've actually started the fight, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was hopeless. It looks to be Salt's attacking us. Which is fine, because he's, you know, he is kind of my next target, so... Oh, we did actually have three in the end. I thought that maybe one of them was just allied. I don't know who I've got as an ally left, but... Um, I guess we're going to fight back, but... Yeah, it's a shame you can't skip these, like I said. Oosh, good grenade, well done. Alright, last guy, he should die in a second, fingers crossed. Put that one at the back there. Done all the work. Okie 
Doki. Like I said, we are at war with two at the moment. Saltz looks to be taken out. No, he has one more here as well, if we see. Plus, he's literally about to take over wherever it was. Uh, he was just attacking. Might not even been in this neighborhood. May not have been at all. There we go. Seven and two. But that is us. Seven on one. That is us. <laughs> It may actually be worth leaving. Ah, oh, there's a bloody cop somewhere. All the way around there. Uh, yes, I mean, it may actually be worth uh, leaving a gangster or two. Um, like, in the streets around this little area, around this neighborhood. Um, I can imagine, even once I've actually got full control of the area, it's going to be a bit of a pain to actually keep it. But having a you know a gangster in you know a street here, street there, I think that could that could come in real handy. Taking you to the big house. Please tell me there's not two cops and there's just one. I got no problem with a big fight, but he's bloody miles away. Hanson here. Yeah, there's two cops. Well, at least we finally assigned an underboss. We finally assigned an advisor as well, um, which is really good. You know, next up is the lieutenant, which, which is probably going to be in the next episode by the looks of things. Um, but that is the next uh, big thing for us and our little outfit. We are actually called the outfit, I believe. And then after that, we are going to be looking at actually yeah, benching right. Capone for the last bit of the game, seeing if we can actually do it. Like I said, like I said, you know, a couple of times now, I've never actually officially done that. So it'll be good to see how the game will play out and it will, if it can actually be done. I'm pretty sure you can do it. I've seen the option to do it. I have actually had a character actually sit behind, but I've never done the old running about afterwards. Okay. Come on, Bruno. Show me the skills. There we go. Lovely job, Lee. So we are about 30 grand up, actually. So I'm not doing too bad cash wise. One and two. I want to say two. All right. Three. Gotcha. Leave it to me. Boris isn't going to be able to hit anyone. Well, actually saying that, does he have a melee? He does. Of course he has a melee. I remember now. Well, your melee's not as strong as mine, dude. Asshole. 
Jazz. Yeah, I prefer a 65% chance to the 50. It was on three half now. Capone for the finish. Nice one. And of course, we will take over that racket. It's a casino, which is that works for us. Now, Saltz has been taken out here now, which is good. Um, I'm getting a bit confused. There we go. And now Saltz is right here. Does he have any more rackets? Looks like there's some stuff happening over there. Oh, Mabel's got a whole bloody uh, neighborhood to herself. We are off to Saltz. For the second, the second boss taken out in this episode. Can we actually add an Evit? Let's have a go. All right, I'm on it. We did inflict bleed and he died from the bleed, which was nice. Number two dead, last one. Actually forgot that was on the pistol to be fair. So just the cop behind the tree left. 50% chance to hit that shot. It probably wasn't gonna happen. Yeah, okay. Let's run up. Mr. 60. We got a 58. That will work. And then into the safe house. Now, this is going to be the first safe house that we actually get um, a lieutenant on. How the hell did Baby Monks fit that? You see that? He's landed straight in. <laughs> that is randoms. Okie dokie, where are we? So we're actually in a pretty bad place. I've got to admit, this is one of the worst um, safe houses to land in. You kind of pretty much got all the guns on you. Typically, uh, the actual boss is safe as well. He's safe in his office, do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, not good. We'll see how this goes, see if we take much damage. I do love Maria's Overwatch. I mean, if she survives this fight, um, I will be very happy. Because, quite frankly, I didn't think she'd survive this long. Make sure we actually change weapon. Can we take anyone out? Out. Ah, ah. Yes. Take another gun off the menu. And baby monks, look at him. Randoms, man. Now, Salts is armoured up. That is for sure. Nice one. 88 hit. Very nice. Understood. Let's move her up. Assholes. Sixty-five percent hit chance there. There is what does that increase to? Not great. However, if we move up yeah. here. Okay. Oh, do you know what? I forgot about his bloody elf. Let's talk about Maria Coppinet. It could well be... 
Yeah, I kind of, I didn't see the percentages. That was silly. Hey, you got it, boss. I shouldn't have taken that shot. Seventy three, and we got a knock back. Understood. Hopefully, he provided a little bit of distraction for uh, for Jax there. Another one out. Oh, he didn't. He went straight onto Jax, but he's activated his trigger happy if he survives. Salts, mate. Come on now. You got better abilities than that, my friend. I'm on it. So we need to start heading down here, really. Oh, he's on two health. That is not good. There you go, Maria's going to clean up shop. Well, almost. He's got ten kills with that. Well done, Jax. Jax survived. Oh yeah, gotcha. I think he survived. Okay. Another melee attack. Silly salts. Get a little execution on that. It's the second execution today. Oh, he used his melee. Look at that. I'm on it. Apparently, oh yeah, true that. Um, let's change weapon instead. That is just the doctor left. Or the butcher. 100% chance. And... He is a dunner. Well guys, on that bombshell and after two bosses taken out in this one episode... Uh, we are going to leave it here. So don't forget, guys, if you have enjoyed this uh, this episode, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as I said, I've just made Maria the, um, the lieutenant and we are up to 564 notoriety now, which is quite a lot. We've got a new trait as well. Um, we're not going to learn machine gun. Because why would we? No, not machine gun. We're not going to learn rifle. My bad. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next episode where we will do everything that I have already said. And uh, I'll catch you later.